Well, number one, mama didn't pay, pay for braces for no reason. So I'm really not trying to bust my grill out. Number two, you know, there's uh, some info about, you know, possibly helping with concussions, you know, with like clashing of your teeth. So every little bit helps, man. I've, uh, I've been injured enough to where it doesn't really bug me to do a few things. This doesn't bug me to wear, so. I'm down for it, whatever, and you know, they look cool, so. My agent Jimmy actually contacted them. I was uh, kind of looking for one to try, and I had seen a few other people using them and heard they were really good, so got a few to try, and obviously the Shock Doctor guys hooked me up with a couple, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm very impressed. Fit super secure, and there's a lot of protection here without it being like extra annoying and like bulky, so it's good. Like I said, the main thing is if it could possibly help with concussions and things like that, you know, I'd gladly take that chance. And obviously, you know, I don't want to bust out my grill, so. Um, a mouth guard is something that I kind of just, I don't know, felt like I wanted to have for a safety deal. It's kind of like the wrist braces um, and as well as the chest protector. I don't necessarily need the wrist braces. I don't have the best wrists, but I feel like for me it's just like a, a comfort a comfort deal, you know, like some people do superstitious things and it helps them be comfortable with what they're about to do and I just feel like when I put that mouthpiece in and I got my wrist braces on, I feel like it's just one less thing for me to worry about. Um, you know, it's also one of those deals where things start getting squirrely, I can bite down and, you know, kind of just, it's almost like a... I don't even know how to explain it. I guess the best way to explain it is just comfort. Like, like I said, when I put it in and um, it, it locks into place and I feel it in my mouth, it, I know my teeth are safe. I know that it's going to help prevent concussions. I think just all the little stuff that I that I put on is a lot for comfort. You know, I see a lot more people now wearing mouthpieces, whether they they like it because they can design it or, or whatever, or or they just got smart and they know that they don't want to knock their teeth out or or um, you know, help prevent concussion. So uh, I do notice a lot more people wearing mouth guards now. No, I actually don't run Shock Doctor. I didn't know that they made them. I just I talked to Vogel earlier, and he he said that uh, that Shock Doctor made his, and like they can design it how he wants and stuff. And I, I didn't know that. If I knew that, I would have gone to them. I was just going offline and and uh, kind of freestyling it, googling it, and finding companies that can do it, and how, you can tell them how you want it. And I don't know. I felt like it was cool but now that I know Shock Doctor makes it I might hit them up next and ask them for another one so I do know I have another mouthpiece that I don't wear that often and it's red and it's made by a different company and I do notice that like I my jaw gets really sore when I'm riding or like on the verge of cramping I think it's just a different fit um, that's why I don't wear that one you'll see me wearing that green and black one a lot more than you'll see me wear the my all red one um, and that's just different companies that first one I got made fits better. I don't ever feel a problem when uh, when it's in like you know I think a lot of our breathing is mouth breathing anyways. I always say nose breathing but like realistically once you get into the heat of the moment and you're in a 15 lap main event you should be trying to move some air you know getting the bad bad air out and balancing out your your system so I feel like if you're breathing through your nose you're not breathing enough air like you're not moving enough air. And I know a lot of people say that nose breathing is ideal, but I think when you're racing and your heart rate's 190 and it, it's and it's pegged, I think mouth breathing is the easiest and the best way to, to get the oxygen flowing. You know, you got to get a lot of air in and a lot of air out. So, if anything, it helps me remember to breathe because you know your mouth, you can't close your lips, you can't really close your mouth completely with the mouth with the mouthpiece. And so, I don't know. I think it's it's solid. And I wear earplugs now too. It's just another. I'm weird, man. Just comfort things. You know, it's like. It makes me feel better when I go to ride a dirt bike. I got everything that makes me feel calm.